Hi everyone, I'm Penny and I'm a second year dental student and today we will be using 3D Organon's anatomy application and we will have a look at the tooth's microanatomy which are the inside structures and its macroanatomy, the outside structures. These are both important to know for tooth development and for doing many dental procedures. So the macroanatomy includes the crown of the tooth, the neck and the root. In this case, we can see that the tooth crown is wide and has many cusps, and the root is bifurcated. It is split into two, so this is a molar. From this view over here, we can see the occlusal aspect of the tooth, and we can also have a clear view of the morphology of the crown. So over here, we have the central groove of the tooth, and we also have the five cusps, the three buccal cusps and the two lingual cusps. Here we also have the lingual group and the two buccal groups over here. We also have the triangular ridges which come down from the buccal and the lingual cusps. So over here for the microanatomy of the tooth, we can see the both hard and dental soft tissues. So on the inside, we can see the hard tissues such as enamel, which is a tough outer layer of the tooth that is visible from the outside, and dentin over here, which is slightly softer and lies underneath the enamel. We can also see the cementum, which is the hard tissue that covers the dentin of the root and the alve alveolar bone over here. So the spongy bone and the cortical bone that lies on the outside of it. So we can also see the soft dental tissues here as well, which are the gingiva, the gums, and the periodontal ligament, which has a small attachment fibers positioned between the two hard dental tissues of cementum and bone. And this functions as a support for the tooth and masticatory forces. Lastly here we also have the pulp of the tooth which includes all the nerves, the veins and the arteries of the tooth. And here they all end at the apical foramen. Well that's us for today, thank you very much.